What's up, man? We back at SES. Um, today gonna be real interesting, man. So it's a challenge. I got most of the front suspension took apart on the Tahoe. We're trying to see if we could get that thing 100% complete. So I supposed to do a little bit of it yesterday, but my tires came early for my truck. So instead of working on it, I went and put my tires on my truck. So I have to work on it tomorrow or Monday, which I have off. So at the latest Monday, the truck will be up. But today, if we could get it done, that'd be like very good and interesting. I had the exhaust appointment set up for Monday. Uh, but in between now and Monday, we have like nuts and bolts here and there. Um, still gotta tighten up this and that. That little bit of body work on the door. Um, but yeah, the major part is wiring and audio. Our alarm, I forgot about the alarm, so I gotta come take a customer. Tell them we uh, gotta get a Viper alarm. So with the alarm system, it's gonna be so cool, man. Like, it's an app that Viper has, and you can literally start your car from your phone as long as the car has a signal. It works like off a 3G type thing. Um, I already know how, like, how to explain it, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, literally, you can press the start on your car and the truck starts. It's gonna be cool. Uh, hopefully it's Verizon, because if it run off T-Mobile, it ain't gonna work over here, because I barely have signal. But, we got to recycle some tires. That's how I got them autos on gift cards, recycling those batteries. Got a few more I gotta recycle, but we don't really get paid for, well, we, I don't get any money from recycling tires. I actually have to pay $3 a tire. And I got like 15 tires over here. So I'm about to round them boys up in the truck and uh, go get that done. I have this metal bracket that was on the truck. Y'all see it over there, that white bracket. Probably can't, let me stop moving. Yeah, that I gotta cut that up and recycle that as well. Um, yeah, man, just a bunch of bunch of everything. Just trying to take care of. But the truck is looking monstrous, man. Look at all that meat. This is a lot of meat back there. J Rock gonna take care of this. I'm just waiting to see when. Why y'all was talking about meat? This is glorious meat. But let me pull this out and uh get these tires in there then uh after that i gotta go get some sawzall blades i needed for the truck and i need also uh i also need a pickle fork so i have a pickle fork but it's a cheap one and i didn't know that's what i was ordering because that's what, what wasn't what the picture was so i've been using it but i don't think it's gonna work on this job but i'm about to go get a real pickle fork and then um yeah we should be back at the shop by 11 o'clock it's 9 30. So, let's try to get all this little stuff done and then we'll be heading out. Hey, I'm gonna take a picture of all the tools I had to buy in the last, like, man, I, I buy tools like every few days. They go JRC. Like every few days I'm buying tools. But load it up, I'm about to go get some uh, straps. You know what I'm saying? Looking beautiful. Beautiful. So the whole lift part is done. Last part is the torsion bar drop set. And it actually had to be drilled out, drilled out because this factory support hits on it. So drilling it out right now. Oh, a little bit. Uh, other than that, we waiting on, I know my face look crazy. Let me see. Oh yeah, it still look crazy. Waiting. We gotta order ball joints, upper and lower, uh, front hubs. And other than that, man, we should be set. But, yeah, so the parts pile is getting real small. So, these about to go on, these about to go on. Stabilizing links can't go on yet. Uh, that was the uh, drop down, bracket for the rear. Uh, Brake holes that didn't fit. Splinters can't go on to the ball drinks come. So I ain't really meet the goal of getting it done today, but did get a lot done. Literally, if we had those pieces, could be done and rolling. But looking good. What's up, man? I'm back. Hey, the truck was supposed to be done 
but we're just gonna say technical difficulties. Let me show y'all. Yeah, it's gonna stay today. So, literally, it's all there. But the bottom ball joints busted. Um, the upper ball joints, OEM style, you can use them with nuts and bolts. Owner said, nope, nope. And then the hooks, they rusted on. The bolts won't even come out. Uh, said that I could uh, cut, the, cut the nuts off and then still be able to get the hooves off. Said nope. Ordered all new. So, technical difficulties. We're waiting on the parts to come in. It was like $300 cheaper to just buy it online. So, just bought it online. Um, as soon as it come, the day it come, as long as nothing crazy going on at work, uh, it should be, everything should be on that day. So, since we don't have the parts, I just said, I'm going to slow down on it. But all I gotta do is get the ball joint out and literally put the uh, axle in, ball Hi. joints on. Say, say, what's say? Hi. She said, hey, y'all. So, change change this ball joint, put the new ball joint in up there, and uh, put everything on. And it'll be going. So, I checked the site, man, for the, the lift. Yes. I ran the wheel on there. Not yet. I gotta wait some quarter down some parts. And they say they need a new axle, so I'm gonna contact them, make sure I put in my notes and see uh, the part number for the axle. And then if if the axle is like crazy crazy with the price, I'm just gonna uh, contact a driveline shop and see how much it'll be to extend however many inches. So I'm gonna go with how many inches the drive shaft. The yoke is slip the yoke is sticking out so so it's sticking out three inches uh how much to extend a front axle three inches that's all i'm gonna do um but yeah man this there it's like literally there so i'm supposed to be selling the factory tires but people not messaging me back so i need to go get loggy bear something to eat and then uh we're gonna come back gotta get some toys or something to play with but yeah that's the update on the truck man so when I come back, since I'm all clean, because I was working on some uh, all the dirty stuff on this truck and dirty stuff on this, I'm clean now so I can do some audio stuff. I try not to do both, man, because it get like real nasty all everywhere, especially if your interior light color. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead, get us some food. Wait on the text back from these people. Let's go. S-E-S. -S.